All right, and we are live. So today I got more freeware games for DOS and Windows. Right now I got some Windows stuff. And uh, basically these discs here, so I'm going to start with Windows Games 12 and Windows Games 13, both from public brand software, a collection of free stuff. Um, I got this fan on because it's hot in here, so I'll turn it off for now, but I'm probably going to turn it back on. And uh, where, I lost what I was doing here. Where is the file manager came okay, in? Sorry. File manager. All right. So this first disc is Windows Games 12. It doesn't come with that much stuff in it, actually. Surprisingly so. There's basically only two games in it, so which seems like a huge ripoff. First one is this WS, Win Slot. Now, this is actually a decent slot machine program. Copper 1992, it's shareware program. The problem is, you'll see it's pretty decent. It has some nice sounds. It sort of feels like a slot machine. Excuse me, it sort of feels like a slot machine. You can bet, like, different amounts. So if you bet five coins, five quarters basically, now you get all five diagonals here, and you just keep playing, uh. so I saw, I didn't get anything, so I said, ah, let's see if I can actually win some money, I got a cherry, that's always good, that'll give me something, oh, I actually got the three grapes also, alright, so I got a bunch of quarters fell in the jar here. Usually I post these 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 things on the MS DOS gaming group and Facebook, but this is like so far off the beaten path. I figured I'm not going to spam them. If anybody's interested, hopefully they'll already subscribe to the channel or they'll they'll drop in naturally. But I'm not going to play this for very long. You'll sort of see what happens in a second here. I will say it's a good slot machine program in the sense that like it gives you like the the the, the tactile well not only tactile but it gives you the feeling of this is the problem. <laughs> so it's not registered. And so, like, after I don't know how many pulls of the thing, it came up and, and nagged me. And for a shareware program, that's really inexcusable. Hopster Key, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Uh, how are you doing? How is everything going? What time is it by you? I was just saying, this, this program is really sort of inexcusable in terms of the nagging. I'll do it maybe one more time, see if I can either get over $20 where I started, or get nagged one more time, and then I'll turn it off and put on something else. Uh. So I didn't advertise this stream too much because I um, figured it's uh, 11.33? Okay, not too bad. Yeah, I, I, I didn't advertise this stream too much because I figured the games are not like, all that exciting, like, but interesting thing enough is that, uh, like, these lot, these these streams get a lot of views after the fact. Like, a lot of people watch them, like, later on when they're bored, I guess. They don't watch it live, but they watch it later. I've noticed that a lot of people watch them later. Uh, by here, it's 12.30, uh, like, just after midnight. So, you know, 12.30 at night. Which, I, I like this time to stream. I mean, I would stream earlier, but... My kids are all in bed at this point, everyone's sleeping, no one's going to bother me. And the nice thing about streaming right now... Ooh, that's cool. More grapes. The nice thing about streaming now is that you also get some some of the European crowd, who it's like the morning for them. I live on 425. I'm going to play until either I get over $20 or I get nagged by the shareware again, which will probably be very soon. Oh, there. <laughs> that's freaking annoying. So I, 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 that's, that's basically... If I got this game in shareware and, I, and this thing nagged me so many times, I would just be like, the hell with this. I'm done. You want it so badly, like, you know, that just I won't play and that's it. What does more do? Oh, there's actually a picture of these people. <laughs> I wonder what kind of skinner they use for this. Brett Bre and Laura McDonald. I wonder if it was Brett or Laura McDonald that had the idea to uh, constantly nag you with this thing. All right, I'm just going to exit out of here. And let's see the other game is Taipei, 
which you can't even see because like the colors are so garish here. And I, I never played Taipei before. Hey, weird gaming adventure, how's it going, man? I got some really weird games uh, today, but unfortunately, I don't think any of them are adventures. I'm trying to get some of these freeware games like played, and I got a whole bunch of uh, better games. Oops, a whole bunch of better games lined up for after that. But I, this is Taipei. I never played Taipei before. What time is it by you, Weird Gaming Adventure? By the way, since you said good evening, um, I never played Taipei, but I guess I read the rules. Um, you can you have to match tiles up. And you can only take tiles away if they match, and also if they're free to be slide either left or right. So this one I can slide to the left, and this one I can slide either direction, so I took that away. And then it's a game to, like, you know, search for... Apparently any game is winnable, but you can screw it up and you can lose. This is not a game that I've ever played before, but I guess it's probably a lot of fun to play something like this on the computer because you don't need to... You know, you don't need an opponent or anything like that. So this one should be free, and that one's free, so I can free them like that. But I don't know if you guys ever played this game or if it's anything you would ever play, I guess is a better way to say it. So to clear a tile, it has to have nothing on top of it, and it has to be free to slide either left or right, and you have to get a match. So um, it's, yeah, it's not it's not, it's not not a trivial game for sure. Like this, this two I can't clear because it says tile isn't free because you can't slide it left or right. Um, I have a feeling like this is just the type of game that like, you know, maybe it's fun for me to play, but I'm not sure how fun it is to watch. But I will try it for a couple of minutes. Let's see if anybody's any comment at least. Uh, you gotta like match, find the matches. I guess it's you know, I'm assuming this is like you know one of those games that people that are into it really enjoy it and they they get a lot of you know personal satisfaction out of just playing it and relaxing. And if you're not the type of person that's into this game, then you probably sort of, you know, have no idea what the hell's going on. And you're like, please make the pain stop. Why are you torturing me like this, Stu? <laughs> Turn this game off, please. Um, but it's actually not bad. So this is not free. I can't get rid of it. This is not free. I'm trying to match these things up. Like, this two is a free, though, and I can match it up with this two. But then maybe I was supposed to match it up with the other two. So I think there apparently there is a way. I can't like I can't like see it yet, but apparently there is a way to like mess this game up and to lose. Um, but I don't know how you do that because I haven't played this enough. Like I never even played like one complete game of this thing, and I don't even know what all these pieces are. But it seems like I do it okay. Can I take these two? No, that's that's not free. Even though it would have been free from moving the other piece. Come on. Turn this off. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. This is this is pretty decent game, I think. But it's like... I, it's really hard to see all these different pieces. There's just so many... So many different types of pieces. Has anybody ever played Taipei? I mean, I don't know who plays this, really. Is it, like, mostly old people? Am I, like, putting myself into a stereotype here? Because I literally don't know, like, what I'm doing. But it seems like I'm doing something. I'm somehow clearing some tiles. I sort of had enough of this, though. I think I'm going to do something else. Unless unless someone tells me in the next 30 seconds that this is riveting, and they really want to see more Taipei, I am going to turn this off and put a different game on, because... It's 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 like the type of thing that you could do and have fun by yourself for probably some period of time, but it really is by yourself. And uh, the other problem is I'm not seeing... I guess here, I could take this 6 and this 6. And I can take this 8 and this 8. All right, there we go. So I'm getting the hang of it. Um, I guess this thing has to match with this thing, but first got to get rid of these other pieces... I need this three thing somehow, and is there really a three thing like that? No. So it's all about really finding where the pieces are you can clear, and then uh, clearing them. <laughs> but I don't know. This this is a pretty deep tower here, so I can see this could go on, you know, for for quite some time. Can I click on this. Yes. Okay, that's good. One and one. Okay. Four and this four. I'm actually doing pretty good. Uh, now what? 
Uh, anyone want to play? Yeah, most of these things you can't click on. It's just they're not free. This one here. This one. And this one. Okay. Uh, did that free anything up useful? I don't think so. So you have a lot of weird tiles here. It has like a bamboo picture on it. This is like an N. I don't know what what I don't know what these things are supposed to represent. I'm assuming if you actually know this game, then you know. It's that, that Jerry's Pop the Bubble game from Rick and Morty. It's, is it? I, you know, I never watched Rick and Morty except for the except for the um, the, the pilot where like he, it, it's all about like uh, <laughs> stuff that I don't want to talk about. A family oriented chat, very uh, non family friendly pilot episodes where basically. Matt and, uh, sorry, not Matt, I said Matt, Doc and Marty get into some really uh, nasty stuff um, related to traveling in time via uh, sexual acts and things like that, if you've ever seen it. And in fact, it was so, like, sort of, like, it turned me off so badly that I never actually saw the show, even though everyone tells me the show is, like, amazing. I, I haven't seen it yet, so I'll have to see it at some point. This is actually somewhat like therapeutic, I must say. It's like sort of relaxing to to click these tiles and match them up. And I feel like I'm I feel like I'm doing a good job. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm winning at life or something like that. I remember what movie that was where someone said like uh like I just try to make you feel like you're doing oh yeah, it was the, the Princess Bride I'm thinking of. I was trying to Adrian the Giant says, I'm just trying to make you feel like you do well. <laughs> That's sort of what I feel like with this game. I sort of feel like I'm doing well a little bit. Uh, I don't know if, what I'm, if, I'm, if I'm doing it right or not, but I feel like I'm, I'm get, coming to the end here. Like I, I should be like pretty close to clearing away all these tiles. So pretty soon we'll know either I did something right or, or didn't. Come on. All right. Uh, I wonder how much how much more tiles this is. Has anybody has anyone played this game before? I feel like it's. I'm getting it, like I must be getting to the end, but is this like incredibly boring to watch, or is this interesting to watch? Because if it's incredibly boring, I can always just turn it off and put something else on. Uh, it's hard because you got to free. You can only click on tiles that that can be slid to the left or the right. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So these two I could get. Not very streamable. Yeah, I suppose. Should I switch to something else, Matt? You seem you seem like uh, you're my uh, you're my expert here. Although I'm almost done. I, I'm actually loath to stop now. I feel like I'm like almost done with this game. Six and six. Uh, help me out here. Am I, am I almost done? What else? Where's the matches? I can't take these two nines because this nine is, is is blocking the other nine. Uh, can I take this two? No, it's not free. Uh, is there another E? I don't think so. I may have like guided myself to an unwinnable state anyway because I don't see anything else to do. Oh, wait here, hold on. Five and this five. Uh, I don't see any more plums, and I don't see any birdie things like this thing is. I must be very close to the end. Either I'm about to lose or I'm about to win, and I feel like I'm about to lose. Maybe I give up. I don't think there's anything else I could do. Well, my opinion of this game just decreased. <laughs> It was very stress-free and very relaxing until just now when I realized that I can't do anything. Tiles don't match. Yeah, of course they don't match. I think there's little, literally nothing I could do. Uh, yeah, I think I'm stuck. All right, well, that sucked. The hell with that. So Taipei is not my game, I don't think. There's an option for a hint, I think, too, but... What did that do? When I pressed hit, did it do, it, do something? Bamboo and plum? 
How is that a match? Bamboo and plum. I guess it's some part of the rules here I, I'm not aware of. Because I didn't think that would be a match. Okay. Bamboo and a plum is a match? Is it one of those a wild card tile or something? Give me another hint. Sum and win is a match, too? <laughs> Alright, I'm learning something here. Uh, okay, now I can get these two twos. I guess there's some tricks here in this game. Let's go for this again. Alright, that's the seven I thought was covered, but apparently it's not. So let me take it. Now I get the six and the six. And I get this thing and that thing. And this and that. And I'm getting on my way here. Uh, but now what? Is there some other trick? This thing, how come it's letting me take stuff that's covered? It's not following its own rules. Oh, now no free tiles. I lost. All right, well, that was good. That was fun while I lasted. So basically, this whole disc, this whole freaking disc here, Windows Games 12, all it has is this Taipei game and this slot machine game, which I'm not going to show again, which, which was a good slot machine game, except it was a very constant nagger about the shareware thing. So let's try the other disc, Windows Games 13, and it has a bunch more stuff on it, but not necessarily anything good. So first of all, EML, this is another Tetris. I, I, I'm not going to... I'll just show you. It's mouse-controlled, and uh, you can move them over, or if you can... On the, well, I just, somehow you get like a rotate thing. I don't really know how to control it, but it, I like the other one better. I, I like using keyboard for this, and... You can use keyboard for this too, I guess, but I don't really understand how. So, whatever. I'm not playing Tetris again. Tetris is Tetris. Alright, then we have this face thing. Now this... Oops. Face EXE. This is actually interesting. Um, I don't know what this is for. Like, if it's supposed to be like a police sketch artist or something. But you load this library, and now I say file, new face. And now, basically, scale 50%. Now I can basically make a face. <laughs> I'm not sure what the point is, though. It's not really a game. You'll see here. All right, so I got some, some female-shaped head. I give her some some hair. <laughs> not, a lot of, not a lot of choices. Um, I can put an apple for a head. <laughs> like, I don't know why I would want to do that. <laughs> or a heart. Or a star. So they have a lot of weird choices that don't make any sense. And then you can put, like, a mouth. And you can put eyes. They don't have to match. And you can put a nose. <laughs> and then I guess you print it or something? Like, I don't know what... Oh, animate? What does animate do? Nothing. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, his animate switches between the different different options. Reminds you of FaceMaker on C64. Is that literally all that FaceMaker did? I have FaceMaker here somewhere. Is that like literally all that it does is just just print out dumb faces and that's all? If it, if it, <laughs> I like that actually. Is it, wait, go back. I like that floppy disk. Hold on a second. How do I stop the animation? Yeah, pretty much. It's like stuck now. I, I I don't want it to animate anymore. It won't stop. New face. I can have like a, two windows here if I want to. So this is like a computer? Computer head? I like the disc. This could be like the the icon for like the big box chat or something. <laughs> oh, it's just animating now by itself. I didn't do that. I don't know what that is even. Is it a phone or something? Anyway, that's probably the actually cutest thing that comes with this in this disc. I hate to tell you, but it's not a it's not a game. That's the problem. All right, what else we got here? Another slot machine game that's much much worse than the other one because there's no like feeling of playing a slot machine. At least the other one, it would like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, and it made you feel like you're playing. This one, you got to just click like hundred times, and like, what's the point? Like, I'm not even like playing slots, so that's that's a dead, that's a dud completely. 
And then I have this really weird thing, Win Roach. All right, so click on that. It says, okay, I agree. It's for evaluation purposes only. They want 13 bucks for this. I agree. All right, well, it did nothing apparently, right? Nothing, nothing happened. Then you minimize like the stuff that you've running, and you see there's something here, Win Roach, on the desktop. And I got all these roaches on my desktop that are running and hiding now because, but it's not, it's not as intelligent as you might think. Cause like right now they're not there. Like you'd think like they went inside. Oh, okay. This one actually went out of the, went out of the file manager. That was interesting. So this one, it went to the program manager. So you think if I open up, I would see him somewhere, but I don't see him. It seems like it just operates on this base level here. And when you click on this, you get like a few options like add roach, delete roach, rescatter. But I mean, it's it's pretty disgusting, first of all. <laughs> and it's not a game. It's just like sort of something to like amuse people with. They come to look at your computer. So basically, both of these discs like are pretty much a waste of time from my perspective. Except for there's some cute stuff, but. <laughs> Nothing worth paying money for. So I, I have a couple other DOS stuff here, which they're also not going to take up, you know, huge amounts of time. But uh, well, I have this disc that was just Bridge. Uh, B-P-E-G-A. And I don't really know how to play Bridge, but this is a whole disc. Automatic trip pickup, give you the best hands, change speed. So I don't know if anybody knows how to play bridge, but I don't. Like, I'm south, so I guess I have good cards in, in hearts and diamonds, so I'll bid one diamond, and then you can bid two diamonds. But I don't really understand, like, how this works, to be honest. Like, I just know the very, very basic here. The is for three diamonds. And I guess in bridge, you control your, your opponent's... Oh, my gosh. He had really good spades. Why did you take it in spades? We would have killed. But you so you control your opponent's uh, cards. So I, I'm playing the three of hearts for him. And they play the jack, and now I'm gonna take it with my ace of hearts. Actually, he's really good. I mean, he has amazing cards. Oh, I shifted to the automatic trick pickup. So now uh, I'll play another heart, and he's I'll have my dummy trumpet. I right. does he have trump? What's trump again? Uh, trump was diamonds. Oh shoot. Yeah, so he's only one, he only has one trump, so that's pretty bad. At least he got he got one trick. Uh, I'll play the ace of spades. I'll play my three. Got that. I'll play the two of spades. I'll play my king. Got that trick. So far, I got I don't but I don't know how you win this game. I just I just know the the very basic mechanics of it. Um, let's try to play two of clubs. So we lost one trick. He has hearts. Doesn't have anything to do. I'm going to lose two tricks. Card error. Why can't I play hearts? Seven of hearts. There we go. Uh, again, he can't do anything. I lost three tricks. Lose another one too. I mean, I'm getting killed. This is actually Trump. No, it's not Trump. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Basically, I suck at bridge. I don't. I don't. I don't want to play bridge. I just sort of did this to turn it on, just to show like how this works and how badly I suck at it. But obviously, the computer is kicking my butt, which is probably how it should be. At least I should get one trick here. Uh. I don't even know what the hell happened. Like, honestly, like, I guess Diamonds is Trump. I feel like I completely, like, blew this game. All right, I got that trick. Am I going to get my contract? The bitter went down. I think that means I did not get my contract. So I don't even know the rules of bridge. At some point, I got to come back and play this stupid game. PC got 50 points. Do you wish to continue this? No, I don't. I don't want to save the score either. Let's just exit. All right, so that's that. And then I have another disc here, which is Casino Games for DOS. 
There's a lot more games here, and some of them are actually decent. So let's play three card, high low poker, also known as guts. Basically, this is the I think the best game actually on the things. I'm the dealer, I can decide high or low, so I'll pick high. And there's like eight other people play, it goes at a nice fast pace. A lot I didn't slow down the cycles, but basically I can decide if I'm in or I'm out. Everyone else everyone, everyone went out except for one person. Whoever has the highest hand wins. That's all it is. No betting. It's just like, but if you if you go in and, you know, if, if I go out, basically he'll win for sure. But if I go in and he beats me, I'm going to basically lose, like, a lot of money. And I don't have really a good hand. So I'm going to go out. And he won $2. But I only lost a quarter. He picked up a quarter from everybody. I don't know what uh, he had, but it was probably a better hand than me. This time they call low. So now my hand has to be low, and I don't have a very low hand because I have an ace, so I'm going to be out again. And you see, he has a pair, but this guy, Bill, had a much lower hand. And now the dealer calls low again. So whoever whoever deals gets to decide, you know, what the if it's high or low. So now this time I have a shot at being the low hand. I'm probably not going to be low, but I'll, I'll just do it for the heck of it. I'll be in. <laughs> See that's unfortunate. Ten two six. Oh, that's 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 interesting. Ace is considered low. I didn't know that. If you're if you're playing low, I guess ace could be a one. That's good to know because I was not aware. Dealer calls high. I have a pair of jacks. Not bad. So I'll be in. I need a pair of ten. So I so I won. So now I'm I'm up a, a buck fifty actually. So I'm actually doing okay here. I'll maybe play a little bit longer, but just to get to get the feel of this. Dealer calls low, so I'm out because the king is the highest one. He just won four bucks without doing anything. If you obviously if you're the only one left, then it, then you want to always you know, stay in. Dealer calls low, I'm out. So he, if there's only one person there, then then you win automatically. I'll do like one more round where I where I can actually um, play. Dealer calls low. Ugh, that would be nice for high. Very nice, Carl. You guys ever ever play anything like this? Like any type of betting game on a, on a you know any type of poker game or anything like that on a computer? Aside from the stuff that came with Windows, like the Solitaire. That's why I turn to get high or low. I'll go for high. So one guy's in, two guys in. Ugh, I'm out. <laughs> and a good thing, too. I want to win one more hand, and then I'll stop this game. I just want to win one more hand. The other call's low. I'm still up 50 cents. Ooh, that looks really low. All right, I win. Okay. I said I'll, I'll, go, I'll go out, so let me exit here. How do I do it? Control C. All right. All right. So that was the three card, three card um, high low, which I think is really cool. Actually, I could probably play that for a while. Now there's also this five card, which is totally different. Five card poker machine. Um, and this is basically straight up poker, but you're playing against the computer, and it's like a it's like a poker slot machine. So I can just see five quarters. And then it's just like, it's like one of those machines that you used to see, you know, in the arcade sometimes that usually just, it would just eat your money. And now I can decide like which, uh, what to keep and what to throw away. So, I mean, I'll keep hold the, the these two. And if you have to get jacks or better to get, to, to actually get something. So I'm going to lose this one. Oh, I got a pair of aces. All right. So I got, got my money back. I'm even. Let's do it one more time. All right. So obviously I'll hold the kings. Deal. All right, I'm even again. It's still nothing interesting there. Oh, this is a crappy hand. You get the idea. All right, so I got a pair of kings. <laughs> Basically, if this was real life, I'd probably be walking away right about now because, like, the four hands in a row where you break even, you know, is a good sign to leave the table while you still can. Nope. I got a lot of money there on the top. Oh, this is good. All right, three, one, two, three, four. 
I still got two pair. All right, you get the idea. I mean, it's it's nothing. Uh, the, the thing is, these games are very addictive. Even if you like, even if you like suck and like, you know, there's no real money here. And I feel like you can play this game for for a long time just because gambling is addictive inherently. That's it. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing now. No, I'm gonna stop. Uh, when you kill this game, it makes everything big. But I guess I can fix that by uh, going to the other game. All right. What else we got here? Uh, okay, this this check luck thing, I, I couldn't even get it to work, so I'm not going to bother doing that now. There's craps. Do you want to use a mouse? Okay. Now, I don't... I never played craps in real life. Like, I know I the rules of craps, but I don't really know the betting. And I guess this thing I'm moving is, like, some kind of betting thing. I don't really understand, like, where... How do I, how do I put it? Somewhere I'm moving a cursor, this blue thing, but... I don't know what to do. One dollar chips. I guess I just have seven. I have eight one dollar chips now. Current bet about eight. All right. I don't know what I did. All right. Space bar to roll dice. Is it like going super fast? Let me let me slow it down. Come bet. Oh, I didn't actually bet. I guess I don't. What, what does come bet mean? Point hasn't been made yet. Okay. Come on. How do I... That's like stuck now. Change. Quit. Okay. It's about unstuck. I have this eight... Okay, now the cursor's at eight because I guess I have eight chips. So I'll put it on pass line. All right. Finally, I can do something here. Roll the dice. Oh, now he's like, he's like shaking the dice over there. I think I have to speed it up. <laughs> yeah, let me speed it up. All right, so I got a six. The point is six. It's so, so slow. Roll the dice again. Pass line bet. I, I already bet. Okay, roll. Let me speed this up some more. Oh, wow, I made my point somehow. So, I mean, I guess this is a real simulation of of a real craps table, except just I'm just so inept. And I bet zero this time somehow. Like, current bet is zero, so I didn't even bet. So I'm not sure what the point is. But I guess the bottom line is, like, wow. Because I bet nothing, I won, too. So, like, if you really you like craps gaming in the casino and you want to simulate a real table... I guess you could do this, and you can pretend about throwing the dice. You're like, come on, baby's a new pair of shoes, whatever they say. But, like, I, I think as for home gaming, this would be really just very boring. So I'm going to exit here, and I will not send this guy a check for $20. Even though he says for $20, I can experience true inner peace as a result of his blessing. Interesting. $25, am I throwing a blessing for a family pet or two? I'm not sure if I've ever seen before a shareware author offer to bless the person setting in the money, but I guess, uh, you know, there's this ways to get everything here. All right, so I have draw. It's another draw poker game. Draw poker, public domain version. Uh, all right, so Damp Dave, Muff, Maury, Larry, Love. Very nice. All right, deal. This is a pretty straightforward thing. My cards basically all suck. I'm just going to fold. At least it's moving pretty fast. I lost $2, but I wouldn't be able to beat that guy anyway. All right, deal. Let's see if I can maybe get one. Well, that's not bad. If I get a jack, but I probably won't. I the hell I'm just going to fold. Two dollars is a lot of money. I want like a lower lower stakes game here. At least I'm not like Cash Carl with negative fifty two. All right, here I got a pair of aces. I got something to work with here. Let's call. I want to discard this card. Keep this one. Discard this. Keep this. Discard that. Uh, it was not very much help here. Let's just check. Uh, call. 
course he would. Wow, he's a full house. See, I lost tons of money just because, like, gambling is not good. Well, here I have two pair. All right, let's let's raise. All right, so keep, discard, keep, keep, keep. Ah, damn it! All right, let's call. Ah, he's a three of a kind. So I could have had a full house that time. I only blew eighty-two dollars, and I didn't even like, you know. <laughs> one more deal, and then I'm and then I'm done with this game. You get the idea. Uh, got a pair. I'm already about a hundred. Just I, I like if I was in a real poker game and I already lost a hundred fifty dollars from sitting there for five seconds, I would be like really really unhappy right about now. Keep discard, keep discard, discard. Uh, lost even more money. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for playing, sucker. All right, so that was the draw poker game. Then I have this game, um, Knock. Well, it's the Start K. This is a weird game, Knock Poker. I don't really understand how it works, and I'm not going to actually play it. This, hold on, I don't want to escape. What happened here? Oh, quit return to DOS. Knock. All right, knock poker. So I don't understand this game. I like I like the shuffling animation though. Alright, so I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Knock, stock, or waste. I guess I can read the instructions, but stock means draw a card from the, from the stock, I'm guessing. And waste is draw a card from the waste. And knock is it means it's like rubby or something. I'll draw a card from the stock. I got an eight. Okay. And now what do I do? Throw something out? I guess. I guess, yeah, okay. So some kind of rummy type game? It's my turn again. Stock or waste? So I'll get stock. I'll just throw it out. He took that five. He knocked. I don't know what that means. Is that like, he, like he said gin? Uh, I guess stock. That doesn't help me. So what happened? Winning he had two pair. Oh, so I guess when you knock, you're saying that you want you want to stop. So theoretically, I could have knocked earlier when when I maybe I only had two pair and he didn't, and I would have won. But because he, now he has two pair higher than he wins, I guess. Let me try one more time and see if that's actually the case. And if it is the case, doesn't mean I would have been able to win. Because I'm not really good at these games. I think that's what, I think I figured it out. This time I have total crap. Uh, but I guess I'll go to the stock. Wait a second. Four or five. Let me take the waste. Throw out this queen. If I get like a seven, I get like a straight or something. He already knocked. <laughs> uh, basically, I'm dead. Stock. Ugh, that's, and I got a queen now. That's so helpful. All right, so he won again. Let's try one more time. One more time. I didn't get it. Like, that's bad cards that time. It's actually pretty fun. But again, it seems like a much. All these games seem like games that are be much more fun playing either with real money or with real people or both. He already knocked right away. He just he just won automatically. I didn't get a chance to do anything. He just he just decided that's it and he wins. That's not fair. Oh, come on. I want mean, one hand here. I've already lost thirty dollars in this game. At least I didn't lose one hundred and fifty dollars like the other game. I got a pair of threes. Let's pick up the stock. Two. I'll throw out this ten, I guess. Uh, I should keep the ten, right? I'll keep the ten. He took the two. Throw out a four. I'll take the four. And I'll throw out the seven. 
I mean, should I just knock since I have two pair? Oh, I can't knock. It's not letting me knock. Why is it knock an option now? There should be some kind of criteria to knock. I thought I'd be able to knock and just declare the game over, but it's not letting me do that. And I'm just getting crap now. Maybe you have to have a certain thing to knock? I'm just getting bad luck here. I mean, not really bad luck. Okay, okay, good. Now, waste. Now I have a full house. Can I knock now? Why can't I knock? I don't want to do that. What the heck? This is bullshit. What? I don't... Oh, now I can... K K oh, I see. K now I can knock. I have to pick up first, then I can knock. What? Who won? Me. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> I, he almost he had a full house also, but I guess I won because the fours are higher than the twos, even though his kings are higher than the threes. All right, that's knock poker. That's pretty fun, actually. I, I could I could see myself playing that, but again, I probably want to play it with a person as opposed to with a computer. And then uh, what else here? There's low low ball. Low ball poker. And this looks like it was written by the same guy. It looks like the same interface here. Does that do your name? Uh, let's see, deal. It's the same shuffling animation. So I assume it was done by the same guy. Now everybody's like anting up. Probably speed this up a little bit. I got an ace. That's nice. I don't know what this is though. Like what I'm trying to do here. It's called low ball. So you, does that mean like I want to get the lowest possible hand? What's that like a some kind of wild card? Stealing is a little bit slow. Oh, another ace. So. I think this if it's if the object is gonna get a lower a low hand, then obviously I'm not doing too well. So I think B is bet and C is call. And I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll just raise. Doesn't matter. That guy folded. That guy folded. That guy folded. If you all fold it, I'll win. That guy folded. He bet before, so he raised. Call. I guess I'll call also. All right. Now what I want to do here, Alt-O show odds. Uh, so it really is low. You want to get a low low card? Is that it? I don't really understand this. 5, 4, 3, 2, ace would be the best hand. I guess. But I have an ace. So is three aces good or bad? Uh, so let's see, up arrow mark card. Let's discard those. How do I press end on this keyboard? I don't know if that's a good hand or a bad hand. Let's rejoin the pot. I got... <laughs> that's a good hand for a high ball poker. I think for a low ball poker, I sort of lost. But I'll call anyway. Oh, he has a really great hand. Eight seven five three two. All right, so I guess the I, I, this would be a good hand if I was trying to play a real poker game, but in this game, I lost bit badly. And that's that's enough to play for that. I think we got like one more game here. Uh, maybe two more. So there's uh, roulette. Which this is like, seems like a very complex game of roulette where you can do all the real betting you've done you could do it at casino and I've and I've seen how the casino betting how that works but like I don't really understand it at all honestly uh, I put something on red I, did, I, did I put something on red I put nine on red it maybe enter end 
I put red add black. I don't know what I just did. Uh, S to spin. Thirteen. So did I hit on black. I don't know what happened. Two. All right. So why is it not give me like something for the red and the black and taking my money? I don't really understand how this works, but I, I'm assuming it's a it's a somewhat of a full featured roulette game. But again, this seems like the worst possible game to play on a computer unless you're really like addicted and you just can't get to the casino. And then there's one more thing here: Ultima 21. Now, I bet you guys didn't know that Ultima series went all the way to 21. I mean, there was you know obviously Ultima one through seven and eight, and there was nine, and did they try to have ten? It got canceled. And Ultima Online, but eventually, apparently, they got all the way up to Ultima 21. Actually, you know what? I gotta do that again. Let me slow that down because that was actually a pretty cool animation that we did see. Let me slow that down. Let's do that again. Ultima 21. I like that sound. It's a casino. Live entertainment nightly. Drinks 50 cents. Some of the world famous Ultima 21. It's basically 21 black is blackjack. Uh, let's see. About 100. That's a good hand. Let me stay. All right, I want a hundred bucks. Let's try this again. Thirteen. I guess I'll hit on thirteen. Well, I still, I was gonna lose anyway, so nothing I can do about that. Seventeen. Uh, that's really bad. I'll stay. I knew I was gonna lose. I'm not so good at blackjack. I, I, I know people that are way better than me at blackjack. <sighs> so bad. But you get the idea. It's a blackjack game. Well, that's nice. I win. I think blackjack is a game where if you... I, I got insurance. I think blackjack is... No blackjack. Oh, I think blackjack is a game where if you actually know what you're doing and you play perfectly, you can beat the house. But you gotta like really know what you're doing and play perfectly and, and count cards and stuff like that. And even so, you're not gonna like make a lot of money. You'll probably, you know, win 55% of the time or something like that. And then, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna come home with like tons of, tons of cash. And basically, casino games are rigged for the for the house. You know, they're not really a a good proposition for uh, you know <laughs> for a uh, someone trying to make money. Insufficient funds for the bet. Oh my gosh. They throw me out of here. Do I have any money? 50. Oh, blackjack. All right. Now I have 100, 100, 125. All right, I'm done. I think I, I think I, I'm gonna end up like, um, so you know, giving up my mortgage or something to play uh, more blackjack. So that's it. That was actually four four discs full of games from from the public brand software. You know, obviously there's so much better ones. Hey, Grim Monolith, how's it going, man? You came just when I'm wrapping up here. I played through four discs from public brand software, but the, most of them were pretty bad. Um, most a lot of casino games, nothing really too exciting. I think uh, first of all, the next stream is going to be uh, adventure, another adventure game. This one I paid like three bucks for the other day, and we'll see if it's any good. And then I do a bunch more of these things. I think this was like sort of getting through a lot of the not so great ones, but I got a lot more of these discs that look like they're much more interesting, more like um, RPG type games and adventure type games and stuff like that. So next time uh, that I do the discs, which will probably be the stream after next one, because next time I'll do an adventure, um, probably will be some more interesting games. But in the meantime, you know, some, some, you can still, whoever watches this, I guess we'll see what happened back in the old days uh, when people didn't have anything else to do. There was no Fortnite and, uh, you know, no Netflix. And all, all you got to do is play some blackjack and poker on your on your DOS machine or some Taipei on your Windows machine. And that was, like, the best thing in the world because that's all you had <laughs> back in the 80s. So I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thanks, everyone, for, 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 for joining in the chat briefly. You know, if you wasn't much to say, I guess, this time around, but... Thanks, Hopser Key, Weird Gaming Adventure, Matt Williams, Grim Monolith. Yeah, this wasn't really Ultima. This was this was this was Ultima 21. It was like a, it's a blackjack game. But like I said, next couple next time we're gonna have an adventure game, 
And uh, the time after that, I got some more discs here. I'm going to like, pull out, but uh, actually, I will quickly. Some stuff here that I have lined up, uh, like this one called Star Treks, which I'm really curious what that is, and Commander Keen. Obviously, that's a good game. Everybody knows that one. And we got Secret Agent, which I believe is another platformer. And some other good stuff. Um, eventually, I'll get through get to all these these discs, and we'll check them out. So, thanks for joining, and uh, we will do this again soon. Have a great day, night, whatever time you're watching this, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Thanks for thanks for participating. Bye bye.